I'm Lenore Skenazy, and after I let my nine-year-old ride the subway and I wrote a little column about it, and because it was in New York, I ended up on every possible talk show, and so I started my blog, Free Range Kids, and then my book, Free Range Kids, and then my movement, Free Range Kids, to say safety is good, but our kids are not in constant danger from everyone and everything. That whole philosophy led me eventually to the, the libertarians. This is my first pork fest. I never thought I'd go to anything called pork fest. Yesterday I did a speech on how do we get so afraid for our kids to the point where we think they're in danger every single second from every single thing. So Melissa was looking at me and she was so angry and she was saying like, can you believe she did that? And I'm like, what Melissa, what happened that is making you so mad? Well, Melissa had been at Costco with her two little girls who were five and two at the time and she was waiting in line to check out and the lady behind her tapped her on the shoulder and said, excuse me, would you mind watching my little baby here for a minute while I go off to get enough, you know, tuna for Armageddon? Um, I'm a prepper. Uh, and, uh, and Melissa said, okay. And that's when she turned to me and said, can you believe she did that? And I'm like, forgot the tuna? It's like, no, no, Lenore. I could have taken her baby, baby, and she would never have seen him again. What I know is that somehow society has come to believe that if you're not watching your child every single second, you are negligent and the child is in danger and therefore um, the authorities must step in. Would you mind if we just sort of role played a second, like what, what this would entail? And Melissa said, sure. And I said, okay, first of all, Melissa, for you to um, be a threat to her child would mean that you were a kidnapper. <laughs> You know, one of the few with two small children of your own <laughs> at home already. It's been great being here at Porkfest. I'm like a celebrity here at Porkfest, <laughs> not in my real life. Uh, it's wonderful because so many people came to, I think, libertarianism and certainly this festival um, with the same impulse as me, which is that we just don't want the government second guessing us when we want our kids to play outside. We want them to walk to school. We want them to be able to go on a merry-go-round without it being covered in caution tape and you know, a million signs saying, do not touch and watch out and call your lawyer and I'm calling the cops. <laughs> so the idea that I'm like evil Knievel in this, this society means that society has gone, I was always like nervous, nervous, nervous and here was the rest of society. And then society went like, here <laughs> and suddenly I'm on the end going hey it's okay go free range so free range was just explaining that we believe in safety um, we just don't think the kids need a security detail every time they leave the house I think I've been on every station in America and a bunch of them around the world and what's interesting to me is when I am put on a show sometimes and particularly on CNN I'm put on with the parent of a child who suffered a tragedy often a parent of a murdered child, as if you could free range and you could have your child die. And that's actually one of the pernicious things about the media. It, everything is always presented as if on the one hand, on the other hand, as if they're always of equal weight. You know, it's not that long ago that I was walking to school on my own as a five-year-old, and when you got to the corner to cross the street, the crossing guard was a 10 year old. My book is translated into seven languages and, and my TV show showed around the world in Russia, Australia, um, all of Latin America. And I was just talking to Brazil last week and the woman said, even in Brazil, parents are way more protective in this generation than they remember being when they were kids. This virus of fear that I feel like, you know, hatched here has spread so far around the world. But when Baby was me, there was no Babies R Us. Now there's 10,000 items in Babies R Us and they're all devoted to the same thing, which is trying to convince you that your children are in too much danger or beset by, by germs or you're too stupid to figure out what is hot water and not place your baby in when there's like bubbles coming up. So, so all of these things are driving us nuts as parents and making us distrust our own selves, distrust any instinct. When you think that children are in constant danger, then you think that any parent who isn't watching them all the time is bad and deserves to have their children taken away or deserves to be put in jail or at least deserves, you know, parenting classes to teach them better. And I think that when parents do trust their kids and their community, 
they're doing a fine thing, not an evil thing. And that's what the message is that I've brought to Porkfest. If you are a single woman, come to Porkfest. That's all I have to say. <laughs> you know, you will be single no more. Just hurry over. Come now. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> freerangekids.com. I'm also Free Range Kids on Twitter. I'm also the book Free Range Kids. And then I'm also at reason.com. That's it. Let's call it a day. I'm going to be here for like till Wednesday morning. I'll see all of you. I thank you for coming. And go freedom! Yeah.